A local Army veteran was drafted into the Vietnam War during a period of his life where he was uncertain about exactly what to do. And KCAU 9 News reporter Tyler Youthner brings us more about Kenneth Jarman's story in this week's edition of Veterans Voices. In 1968, Kenneth Jarman was in college when he received a letter that changed his life forever. I didn't have much direction in my life at that point. When I was drafted, I thought at the time, well, I don't have much say in the matter. I might as well accept the fact, make the most of it. When Jarman was drafted into the Army, he was unsure what to do. However, after a talk with his father-in-law, he was told to volunteer for everything he could. I trained to be an intelligence officer. I went to officer candidate school. Graduated in 1969 from Officer Candidate School, became a second lieutenant, um, and immediately came down on orders to go to Vietnam. Knowing he would eventually be sent to Vietnam, Jarman volunteered knowing he would be able to choose his assignment. My responsibility was to collect intelligence about the Viet Cong and the North Vietnamese Army in every way I possibly could. We used every resource that you can think of. From aerial photo reconnaissance to underground sensors, Jarman and his team would go into the jungle for many missions, trying to stay out of enemy sight. Sometimes we weren't lucky enough to avoid contact. And we always had escape plans and we always had uh, reaction forces that would fly in to support us and help bail us out. Jarman spent 12 months in Vietnam. He stayed in the Army following his tour of duty, traveling the world while continuing intelligence work for the next 30 years. I got a great deal out of being in the Army, probably much more than, than some people did. The Army made uh, many opportunities available to me, educational opportunities, travel adventures. I've seen the world. Jarman says if you see a Vietnam vet, walk up to them and welcome them home as many never received one after the war. For Veterans Voices, Tyler Eukner, KCAU 9 News.